So the story of today is the huge comeback that INEOS Team UK have made from the World Series in December to the Prada Cup first two races in January just today. Here's going to be a detailed look at the changes they've made in terms of their groove movement, especially in the tacks and the coordination, and then looking at some of the changes they've made to Britannia to give it a slight speed edge over American Magic and at least get on par with Prada. Okay, let's get into it, have a look at what they've changed in their tax. Okay, I've overlain some footage. We've got the America's Cup World Series in December at the top and Prada Cup in January at the bottom. I'm just gonna look at how vastly different uh, Team Ineos's tax are. So here's the first playthrough at real speed, and then we'll slow it down and really get into dis differences that they've they've made in just a month. So much quicker in January, but there's some key details about how they're going about the tax. Okay, first off, you've got Bledimon. He's crossing the tack now before. He's crossing the back of the boat before the tack, which allows him to do much more main trimming on the exit. So I've synchronized the foil drops and you'll see how far up the traveler is to windward in the Prada Cup. They're really cranking that traveler up to initiate the turn and the head up to windward. Okay, and going into super slow motion, I want you to notice how smooth the pop from one tack to the other is in the January footage down below. Whereas in the top, it's a real clunky drop to leeward and flick of the boom. Okay, just freeze framing there again. And if you look at the aft end of the boom, in the December footage, there are red markers for the outhaul. Whereas in January, there aren't. And I think this is because they're taking the outhaul adjustment to the front of the mast, to the tack, where they've got this stretchy section. Another indicator of a new boom. Okay, foils coming out the wind water on the Prada Cup. So much ahead of December. Okay, and then you've got Ben crossing the boat again, well ahead of time compared to December. So Bledin and Ben are only just crossing now in the December. There's a bit of a freeze in the Prada Cup. That's just from the um, from the original footage. But now you see. Uh, Giles is going back to the leeward side and you look in the January footage and the booms up on the center line this suggests they're already on their kind of VMG angle sheeted in foot wind whereas in December after the attack they've still got their main ease in the accelerating mode so everyone back in position now full speed on the January attack but in America's Cup World Series they're still down on the traveler trying to accelerate and Giles isn't back in position so you can just see how they're using the boom and the traveller has changed dramatically and the tacks were much improved. Part of that will be the new boom, but I think part of it is just the coordination of the crew work as well, getting Bledham up on that windward side so he can effectively manipulate the main on the exit of the tack. Okay, let's have a look at the few of the changes that Ineos have made to find all this speed between the World Series event and the Prada Cup. So first of all, as we freeze frame here, I think one of the big changes is they're now going with lots more Cunningham and outhaul. And they've got this stretchy fabric at the tack of our main, which obviously is allowing a lot more movement in the outhaul, a lot more depth to be dropped and pulled into that sail and a lot more Cunningham to be used. Okay, second up, we've got these aero fairings ahead of the grinders. Now, they've had those on before, but I do think they look to be a little bit higher, so they're possibly giving the crew a little bit more shelter. I'd have to few, see a few more photos to confirm that, but I think it's the case. And then, of course, we have the black foils. They've obviously got a rattle can out. Black is a lot faster. But if we look at the detail, the um, winglets on the foil have changed shape as well. And there's probably been some structural changes inside. Um, finally, the amount of cunning they're using now with this new tack on the main, they're also getting a lot more bend in the mast. So as we pan up to the top of the mast, 
you'll see that's that's bending a lot more and that's a lot more similar to how Emirates Team New Zealand are sailing their boat with a lot of mass bend upwind. So here we are panning up and if you just focus on the um, top third of the mast there's quite a lot of bend probably from where the top of the jib is to the mast tip. So obviously using that to depower the main a lot of wind, then drop, drop depth in as they release the Cunningham downwind. Okay, let's have a look at this boom then. And both these clips are from downwind when they want to get maximum depth into sail. But just look how straight this new boom is. Now I'm told it's articulating, but it can't be articulating much. It's pretty much straight into the back of the mast. Whereas this is the older boom from the World Series. Look how big a turn that is in the boom. It's really bendy and it's giving them a lot of depth low down. But they were obviously having problems tacking and jibing the boom. And they've just gone away from this for a more simpler boom. And their new boom just looks a lot more like the American Magic one, which is far straighter, simpler and probably is better at controlling the rest of the sail and easier to tack and jibe. So thanks for watching this video. The uh, first day of racing was really good. We learned so much and uh, I've got Rob Gullen back with me later today and we're gonna run through and give you a detailed tactical analysis of the first two races of the Prada series. So uh, check that, check back in with that later today. Take care, hope you're enjoying the content. Looking forward to more racing.